n i a So today、uh, we're going to check out some Japanese apartment and I'm going to talk a little bit about that.、Uh, I think、uh, neither of you have been、uh, in a Japanese apartment, correct? Mm, I've been in this map before, but it's just a long time before. In this yeah. world, yeah. Yeah, in this、mm, world. But not、yeah. the real one. Yes. yes. And so,、uh, typical things about Japanese apartments, we're going to go through some things, but、um, firstly,、uh, a common thing is that Japanese apartments are quite small. That's common in Asia, I guess. What about Korea and Taiwan? Small as well. The same. The same,、mm, yeah, it's, a lot it's, of small it's, yeah, it's similar, it's, it's similar,、yeah, similar. Mm. Yeah. but not, not, not like that. But uh, if, if you live, you know, live alone, yeah, you can find like this house. But when you have a, some live with family, don't live like this house, just only one, yeah.、Mm. And, 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 and the most of the building is just have a elevator, not a, not a stairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Have elevator in every apartment. Mm. 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 Uh, but when you move into a Japanese apartment,、uh, and I'd like to hear about Taiwan and Korea too, in Japan, because I'm bye -bye, comparing bye -bye. to the West, of course, since I'm Swedish. One, one. <clears throat> in the West, apartments always come with the fridge and the stove and. Uh, uh, Yeah, at least the fridge, and you know, we, we it's part of the apartment. But in Japan, it's common for apartments to not include a fridge,、um, at least like apartments like this. You have to buy it yourself or sell it when you're moving、uh, or bring it with you, or whatever. Is, is that something that happens in your countries? Hmm. You say the all, all the all the furniture is just squeezing inside of the room? Not Or something. Not, 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 the, not all the furniture. More like the the fridge and stove,、uh, yeah. and maybe.、Uh, yeah. I, I guess that's one of the two things. That is like it stays in the apartment. Yeah, it's like, it's like,、mm, yeah, it's similar. Yeah, I think the all, all most of the、uh, house, yeah, the inside is include. Yeah, include that thing. <laughs> those things, you have to include those things. Yes.、Mm, yeah, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Same?、Mm. Yeah, the, the, the yeah, supplies it... and some rain, stove, yeah, everything.、Mm. Yeah, that, then that's a bit specific to Japan because I've never heard about that. Well, I've introduced you know. Neko Taku to you. It's obvious that the yeah, he's interesting in the with Japanese culture. Yeah,、so uh, and if you're renting the apartment, that, and、yeah. the he loves Japanese culture, so I want to introduce the landlord, Japanese culture to apartment company, for foreigners and fixes it, like、so、other countries people. You don't have to deal with it yourself. Yeah,、uh, and pretty much anything in the apartment.、Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah. What, something else that's different about Japan is that the walls are thin. Common for walls, the walls to be thin, so you can easily hear neighbors or the outside. Is that the same in your countries?、Uh, Maybe it's a case by case, I think. Yes. Yeah. Well, you you can、But、just you... say anything loud because they, the other houses、oh. people can't hear what you say. Yes.、Mm -hmm. Definitely and clearly. In the... <laughs> The in, traditional、uh, Japanese houses using only wood when they made the house, so yeah, it's,、mm -hmm. it's very thin. So yeah, maybe the very old houses they like yeah, that, especially but, old ones. Yeah,、mm. now they make some house just use concrete. So so many concrete, so maybe now、mm. it's not. In, in in Sweden, the standard or like the quality of homes is very high. So in Sweden,、uh, the walls are not really thin, so you can often you can you can hear some things, but、uh, often when it's a bit louder, so you don't have to be scared. Like I can speak with a normal voice all night and not worry about it, you know. Did you fall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, did you fall? Did you fall? 
Yeah, it is same. But when I live oh. like this small house, it's fucking mm. thickness. So yeah, I'm just very, very. Yeah. When I say all night, I'm very. It's saying only very weak voice. Like, oh hey. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello. Be a little bit careful. Hello, how are you? Okay. It's so small. Yeah. It smells like whisper. We're talking about how it, in Japan the walls are so thin that you know you can easily overhear people, and you have to keep a lower volume level uh, mm. than in the West, where you know, like in Sweden and Norway our walls are thicker, so we don't have to worry too much about like yeah, like I was saying when you came, we can speak normally without worrying that someone is gonna hear us and um, uh, I was also saying that in Japan sometimes the fridge is not included in the apartment so sometimes you have to like uh, buy that yourself or when you move you have to move it with you means I can That's say to, to um, YouTube, YouTube guys and, and Twitch guys uh, and, and Japan, without like, they so heard that's another big thing yeah. with Japanese homes so or apartments. Close, they don't have central heating. They don't have radiators uh, most of the time. Uh, what about Taiwan and uh, Korea? What kind of heating do you have in your homes? Oh, yes, uh, the heater. Uh, oh. we, we have a very traditional heating system, so uh, just be heating the floor. 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 Yeah. Oh, so yeah now now and yeah, now my house is using the pro heating system so yeah now my house just uh, don't, don't have yeah. any heater and radiator but it's still 25 or 26 temperature oh yeah, I, that sounds very yeah, pro, yeah yeah so my Floor my feet is fucking warm <laughs> because oh. like, now i'm here but it's yeah. pro heating system so can you regulate that yourself can you choose how hot it is yourself? No, just the setting tab. You can, but you can change it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can change. Uh, but is that common? It's normal. Yeah, it's common. Yeah, every house is heavy. Uh, it's pro heating system. Eh, wow, I never heard of that. Cause that sounds really like almost like luxurious and uh, advanced <laughs> to me. Wow. wow, have you ever heard of this before? No, I haven't. No. What about Taiwan? Taiwan is a bit more warm and tropical. <laughs> Taiwanese, so Taiwanese don't, don't need... use any here, all the year. <laughs> yeah, because yes. well, how cold can it be in in your city? Well, t like yesterday is twelve. Oh. Yeah. Is that? Uh, it's like not ten and twelve is coldest. T uh, twelve is the. I think it's, it's the normally cold. Yeah, normally cold is fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, we. But then, in, then inside because that's too cold inside. What do you yes. do inside? Yeah. It. So we we normally wear wear long, long clothes to to our body, rather than open a heater. Uh -huh. Yeah, because we don't used to get a heater. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. That's similar to Japan then. And yeah, that's, um, that's in similar. Japan, they will. Well, I mean, similar how in Japan they don't have this, like a heating system like oh. in Europe or or Korea. They rely on uh, oh. air conditioners air conditioner. or um, or uh, floor heat. Like, uh, just a warm. Yeah. Uh, we don't have kotatsu space. Yeah. We don't have a floor mm, heater. Or like yeah. a, <laughs> we don't have that. So <laughs> or, yeah, or like a, you know, you buy some kind of heater that blows hot air or whatever. Yes. But in Europe, in the West, we have uh, like the building has built-in radiators. Them. I don't want to kill them. Heat heaters yeah. on the wall, and they're you can keep them on all all the time or during the winter, and you can yeah. regulate how hot they are. And they warm up the whole apartment usually if it works well. I see. So that's one thing. Not yeah, that uh, can be a big difference if you're in Japan in the Japanese apartment. Yeah, so, so cute. Let, let's go inside. Neko Otaku so, is a hint. Yeah.
Literally. Yeah. Mm. Let, let me show you. And the door was shut by itself. Yes. <laughs> it's still in the hall there. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you later. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And this thing with the door here, behind you, on the door, <laughs> this, I, I don't, wait, let me see on the outside. I don't think it was. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, there, that's the mail mailbox. Uh, uh, typical Japanese mailbox uh, where it falls into that thing there. I like we say have so. slots in the doors in Sweden too, or we had to, I'm not sure uh, if they're still there. Uh, but usually they fall down on the floor. Sometimes there's like a, uh, a basket catching it. What about mm -hmm. Norway, too? Mm, Norway have... Uh, Outside, yeah, the, uh, uh, it, it, it is a mailbox. Yeah. Do you live in a house, villa, or an apartment? Oh, it's an apartment complex. Oh, yeah. So then you go downstairs and get the mail in of boxes, or is it mm, no, actually it's, outside? It's, outside. it's hanging on the on the wall outside. The yeah. Mm. Mm, okay. yeah. For me, in an apartment, we have, uh, when you get into the building, but before my home, we have a wall with all the mail. Uh, I don't know if that system exists in Japan at all or not. <clears throat> uh, and does anyone know what this is called, this small space, before you get in here? Yes. I don't know the Japanese word. Genkan. 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 So, so, so. Genkan. This is a Genkan. Yeah, Genkan. This area here. Yeah, it's the... Uh, and basically, it's a traditional thing, but it does serve a purpose, and that is to leave your shoes, your outside shoes here. Yeah. And then when you step up here, you're, yeah. you don't use your shoes. Don't, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which don't is... Which, which is very... Which is... <laughs> Which makes sense to leave your shoes at the door and not walk into them, you know? Like, I don't understand the US where they sometimes take <laughs> shoes inside. <laughs> but, so let's say the US, they walk in with the shoes sometimes. Then we have uh, Europe or Sweden and so on, who we will, leave, of course, we leave our shoes as well. But then Japan goes to the extra strap, step of having the Genkan, which separates it a lot more and have this. Uh, rising floor here and and also when you leave your shoes so when you visit someone or uh, it's always polite and nice to put them on a row and pointing outwards so that when you are leaving your, your shoes are in the right direction to your body so you can often see shoes lined up against this edge here I'm thinking of um, nice. nice. And, and now that we are so few, we can fit in here in the toilet. Let's go into the toilet. Does it close automatically? Yeah, it does. Okay. Where can I stand? <laughs> That's oh, weird. That's weird. Four, yeah. four men watch toilet. <laughs> what did you say? Four men watch toilet. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Four. It's weird. Hmm? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> so you, four people in Yeah, house. four men. Watch toilet. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the toilet is another thing that in Japan does uh, stand out. And uh, I'm sure some of you have heard about it. Uh, and the, there's one company that often... Uh, I don't know if it's the only company, but it's the main company that that uh, makes and sells these. Oh yeah. Um, oh, by the way, I came, these toilet came, seats. I came so to it's this not room the whole toilet. It's the for thing for you put for a couple toilet, times. Like instead of the seat yeah, this is a normal toilet, room. Uh, like which is like Asian a people who can get me to it. Not the not the Euro people or uh, American people can get me to this. Japan. Yeah, normally American people uh, can get me to see the great part or somewhere else. And it has some fig, um, some images on it and, and buttons and stuff. 
and they're all just flushed. <laughs> so they come in they come in different uh, with different features and settings, but the most common ones are like flushing from from this uh, um, control panel is I don't think very common, uh, but it's possible as you, uh, as you saw. But the most common features are uh, like a bidet where you where it sprays water, you know, to clean. You can clean yourself in the toilet. Uh, also, some kind of perfume to get the smell away, and also to make a sound. Some of them play music, or like a sound of. Uh, there's even fake flushing, so it just makes the flushing sound instead of actually flushing to. to to mask your sound, but not waste water. Um, and you can have different strengths sometimes, uh, which is also common in, in, in Sweden, strength of how much you flush. Uh, and yeah, when you use the bidet, the, there is a thing that comes out here, like me, and then... Psh, yeah. yeah, it might. Have you? Yeah. There's even some of them that can clean themselves. Oh, and right, right, it's impossible. Yeah, the because of the room is here owned by Nikotaku, so so they're kind they of have, they have, popular. If if you you are Nikotaku's friend, can go to, uh, this, to, to, go to used, this room. Yeah, used to used to one a few times. Would be nice. Also, another thing stick. with the toilet paper. Now, I lived in Japan for six months. Uh, I lived in two different places. I lived in a share house and I lived in my own place. Uh, when I was in the share house, I discovered that the most, the thinnest toilet paper I've ever seen. It's like <laughs> super, super thin. It almost breaks uh, when you touch it. <laughs> Never seen that kind of toilet paper before. But one specific thing to Japan is that they often do it's not on it's uh, you can't see it here because in this world doesn't have it but often if you're in a hotel or in a public toilet or um, just in a um, family having someone over maybe they do something with the toilet paper when it's not uh, or after you use it or after you clean uh, they fold yeah, 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 yeah. They fold uh, like a triangle, um, like it's a square, and then they fold it in, into a triangle. And I, I think it's it's just like a traditional thing, uh, but also it might make it easier to, to pull it. I keep flushing. <laughs> is, that, is that something that happens in Korea or Taiwan? <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty simple. Oh. Our toilet, yeah, the best is the, uh, the best is at the other toilet, right? When on Japan, in Japan, right? The have oh, a you two, mean two type toilet. Yeah. Separate from the bathroom. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the actual... yeah, yeah, but Korea mm -hmm. is just only one. Best, yeah, and this is in same toilet. Yeah, that's that's yeah, another good point. Different part. Yeah, yeah but just... the other one. Is Pretty same. We're using this fucking heating the same. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too, um, yeah. That that's another feature. Yeah, heating in the seat. And uh, <laughs> the same but paper tower that like. Oh, I can, I can. I, but do you fold? Do you fold? Unless you're interested like in Japanese like culture, in Japan. because I don't want to. Or I want to keep happen. talking to the, mm. the Japanese things. Like, no. Yeah. Sorry, the, the, the I'll find you out. if you wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go. The piece I'll that find sticks you. out of yeah. the toilet paper. I'll go in Japan, they fold it yeah. into a triangle. Wait, wait. Well, until uh, until he's done. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You, it oh, doesn't it, doesn't happen in Korea. It, yeah, it doesn't happen in Korea, but the Japanese one is more easier to find the the line. You know, when you pull the toilet paper. Hmm. But yeah, uh, we don't do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like families don't do it, you know. But if okay. it's someone over, yeah. maybe can, if you can wait, then they do it because it just looks nice.
and it, it's a courtesy to do it also. So if you see, like in your, if you're in Japan and you see the triangle there, and you use the toilet, make sure you fold it in the same way. It's just a polite thing you can remember to do. But like you said, yeah, separate. Like in Japan, it's common to have just the toilet with the sink, and then if we go in the other. <laughs> no. You actually don't have to open the doors. In here, where they separate. Now this apartment is actually quite a big apartment, like a big, like a quite fancy apartment, um, very expensive one uh, for Japan. So even in here we have another space before we get into the bathroom here. And I, yeah, open it. We have two separate areas where it's in the west, and like you say in Korea too. We have all in in the same in the same room. Is, how is it in Taiwan, uh, York? Huh? What did you say? Bathroom? Do, do do you do you have the shower and toilet in the same room? Oh uh, yes, yes. Which, yeah. In, in my dormitory is separate, but in my home it's 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 combined. Uh, Okay. Yeah. One specific thing with Japanese bathrooms, oh, like the actual bathroom where the uh, shower and the Jason, hello, hello. Bathtub, Wanna, you can see on the floor here, hello. it's, uh, I don't know what to call it in English, but hello. you see there's a <laughs> called drainage, like where the water can go, and the shower is right here. Well, sometimes the shower is in the bathroom, sometimes it's separate like this. Most because the traditional way of cleaning yourself in Japan is to clean yourself here, and then you take a bath. The bath is often more okay, the, okay, the. of uh, relaxation, uh, not so not so much to do with cleaning. I mean that's the case almost everywhere, right? But here they make a thing separated like. Before you take a uh, bath, you clean yourself in the shower. Okay. 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 I don't take baths, but Jason, people who do, I don't think do that at home. They just get into that. Yeah, this one is very advanced. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know if if it can actually fill up the water. Why is it wise? I haven't heard of that. Mm. Uh, I don't know how common this is or uh, what kind of people do it exactly, but I have seen it. And it does happen that people leave the water and use it over and over with, without refilling it. Yes. Well, because they actually clean themselves here, and they get in there, the water doesn't get as dirty as quick. And sometimes they uh, cover it up to keep the heat. Oh, like, and the cover up with the plastic, yeah, so right? Re hmm? it, it, it Japanese uh, cover up this? plastic, I think, so that the heat Some can cut, can, mm -hmm. or, is, 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 is that right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it has to do with the heat, but it's true that many uh, pubs in Japan are made of plastic. Yeah. I see. I see. Mm. Uh, yeah, so even like several family members might use the same water in one day, or, or if a person lives alone, they'll use it a few days, and then, yeah. I see. It's a bit of a different thing that I've never heard anyone else do. <laughs> Sorry about the door. Yeah. The kitchen. I took oh, by the way, I, for I forgot to um uh who knows how to say bath in Japanese. Yeah. Ufuro. Does anyone know how? Ufuro. Hmm. Hmm. Ufuro. It's bath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about kitchen? It has mm -hmm. two names. One is quite easy because it's in Katakana. Kitchen. Kitchen. 
Kichi is the first for English and uh, Taitokoro is the second for Japanese. Yeah, Taitokoro and Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Kitchen. Mm. Uh, <coughs> like I said, the fridge uh, sometimes is not included in the apartment, something you have to get yourself. But also, the fridge is often in the freezer. This is two in one, quite small. You see, this is a very luxurious apartment. No, um, for oh, one by, person or two. By the way, the um, but the fridge is still quite small. It's from Sweden. To yeah, me and Jufus yeah. apart. Um, yeah, and he uh, came. Yeah, he came to Japan I mean, I for, for six one, months, and then he just one, loved uh, in Japan. I say, yeah, one unit, which is a fridge and a freezer. Uh, my freezer might be uh, the same uh, size as this one down here, but the fridge uh, continues up to like here or something. So my fridge is bigger. And some people also have have two separate ones. I'm guessing because you also. Have quite small apartments. Yours are. You also have small fridges. Yes. Yeah, yeah but uh, the crust have uh, some different types of fridges because uh, the, mm. we have some special traditional food in Korea, and it it keep setting the minus temperature every time. So when oh. we take the traditional food, we need to just eat the other fridges. So. The, the we, yeah, not, uh, the project is not like this, just like some, how I can say it, more bigger, uh, but every yeah, house bigger. is have the special project. Uh, the, so yeah, the, the, two the, types of project. Yeah, the, the fridge is the difference between the, each house, yeah. Mm. Mm. Um. Uh, right, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> most of it, um, yeah, le zo so it's a long le and a long zo, so. yeah, le zo cold, cold reserve, cold reserve, a uh, fridge, yeah, cold reserve, yeah, cold reserve, yeah. Cold reserve. Yeah. Can, you say, can you say, le zo le zo le Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mostly like a t-shirt, you know? mm -hmm. yeah. He's most like t-shirts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Actually, I know, I know most of the Japanese culture, but mm -hmm. I just want to know interesting how he mm -hmm. teaches, how the type mm -hmm. he teach. Because it's quite interesting, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's bare. Hello, we're going through the kitchen right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. A Japanese kitchen uh, looks like and works, and the difference between it and the West kind of. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, someone else can. <laughs> yes. um, and York, if, uh, behind you here. Yes, oh, hold on, sorry. And if you in Korea, the stove in Japan. This is a very modern stove, uh, even for Sweden. Um, I don't know how, how common this kind of stove is in, in Japan, but does anyone know what is the... What, what do stoves usually look like in Japan, or what kind of stove are they using in Japan? I'm guessing it's the same in Korea and Taiwan as well. Yeah, it's the gas system. The ga gas... Yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> gas stove. Oh, yeah. yeah gas. I think the gas, gas, gas one is more... Or come I think. In it's, Korea, it's yeah. More than. Mm -hmm. And Japan, yeah. Japan too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in 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 Japan, you uh, most of the time you find it the, in, in, to be a gas stove, you know, open fire, which mm -hmm. is very rare to the West or at least to uh, I mean maybe not the UK. Sure. Do you huh? in England? What the what? the stove. stoves the stoves. In England, are they uh, uh, often this kind, or, uh, or no? Or, uh, it's gas. 
it depends on there's two different types. You've got the ones where the the hobs like that. Hey, Jan, we're Jan is how? Is it gas fuel or is it gas fuel? Don't tell me. So it, it, it's it's a fifty fifty probably. Some people prefer gas. We're gas fuel. Gas fuel is really very uncommon for. I mean, I don't think it, no apartments have gas stoves in Sweden. Mm. Like we have a very. Which one is your house? The before, it's the, a very high standard, and this, everything is like very standard. The electrical after, heater or the gas stove? Um, Which one? How it's supposed to look like? Um, I've never tried a open, gas. Yeah, exactly. I had never done that before I went to Japan, and in I got a brand in my new Japanese one in my apartment. apartment. Oh. It's very yeah, good. Is it, is, uh, because I don't know how to explain the other kind that is more common in Sweden. Uh, it has a, an oven the... too, like uh, here. There's no oven here. Right. Yeah, there's no oven. Dice. Uh, I think ovens are not that common in Japan. Like an actual big oven. They usually. I use, use ovens all the time. Other... Yeah. So, yeah, in Sweden, the oven and the stove comes in one. Uh, is one unit. Uh, mm. But in Japan, I think this, the oven is rarer, and they use like something they put on the bench instead. Now, where's the, the rice cooker? Yeah, there is no rice cooker don't, here, but that's also. Don't, don't they usually have a grill? But, but, but. Yeah, some kind of grill that they open up, like the microwave kind of, but inside uh, it's more like an oven inside. A rice cooker, yeah, rice cooker is like. More common or as common as a uh, microwave in Japan. Like everyone has a rice cooker in Japan. It's essential. What about yeah? What about Korea and Taiwan? Does everyone have a rice cooker there? We do have. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, we do have a rice rice cooker. <laughs> yeah, because we we eating rice every day, but yeah. we eating uh, some some of the electronic rice cooker, but some of the using like uh, this pot. So yeah, mm. it's case by case. I, I'm not using electric yeah. one, but the, mm. because the electric one is fucking shit. So I'm just using soap when I make some rice. So. Mm. Yeah, in Sweden, uh, it's very rare to find someone with a rice cooker, but you can get yeah, it yeah. or something. It, they're very expensive. And uh, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, say we just some toilet. grill, right? Some fish grill, grill or yeah. some the other one. Yeah, the grill is down of soap. So. When the when you visit the Japan, maybe you can find some very out of the stove and just pull out that and put in some fish on the grill and just push it. That's all. Mm. Then mm -hmm. you can eat a yeah, good fish. <laughs> yeah, it's it's common in Korea too. So yeah. Yeah, when mm. we cook some fish, we using the grill with the stove. Mm. Uh, this house is not have any grill. <laughs> yeah, no. It doesn't have a rice cooker or a, so any grill at all. Yeah. And um, like I said, this apartment is quite uh, big uh, and luxurious. Uh, so uh, uh, this apartment. Um, must be expensive. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, and what of you? Yeah, Nice. <laughs> Donuts and coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. afternoon snack. Snack? She's not a maid. Yes, no, that's why it's a snack. Uh, but also, I, me I mentioned before, and you can see it up here the, the air con, the air conditioner, the air con. Hmm? Air con. Is the air con. Right? This is also not common at all in Sweden, but people do have it, but then it's more like, yeah, it's uncommon, yeah? Yeah, it's, you uh, have got a lot of money if you've got one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the image, yeah. Um, mm. In Japan, it's mostly used for, uh, I mean, you, you can use it for both, of course, like heating mm. or cold. But in, when it does get cold, we talked about it outside, that in Japan they don't have like a central or a heating system or like it's not part of the apartment. So they rely on a air conditioner or a kotatsu, 
table with the heating underneath or some kind of fan you know, or some heater that you buy uh, which is different from the rest of uh, Europe Aren't fans and um, air conditionings like cursed? <laughs> I haven't heard about that, no Ah, uh, okay it's, yeah, I, I think know. it's like some, some kind of folklore in Japan yeah. that if you use your fans too much you get cursed <laughs> yeah, that makes sense because they do try to avoid it, uh, but probably also because of um, Ostia. So they they mostly use it in the summer when it gets really really hot. They use it for cold air, but then in the winter when uh, it's you know because uh, in the winter you can put clothes on yourself to 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 make it more manageable kind of. Um. Yeah. Yeah, come. I'm gonna need one of those this summer. It's gonna be super hot, like 40 degrees. Yeah, it was uh, last summer, or yeah, last summer in Sweden. I was, I was thinking like, air conditioners must be getting more common in Sweden. <laughs> I think Otherwise, it was almost 37, 38 degrees Celsius. Uh, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. And everyone say. Air condition. Air condition. Sorry, we're talking about. Hold on. Air con. Girls game. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to tell? What do you want to tell? That's a short form of. What do you want to talk to? Like air con. So then they don't say AC. They say air con. So air conditioner is the full word. And uh, the bed in Japan, uh, they do have uh, this uh, quote-unquote western bed. Um, but then what is the uh, alternative or the more traditional bed on New York? The... No. There's, there's something underneath the bed, <laughs> so... Uh... Mm, yeah, it's, 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 right? it's fucking it's traditional on. means. You want to see Traditional it? means. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like a thin mattress on the floor, and usually the floor is also um, softer because it's tatami mats. Mm. And one interesting thing in Japan is that they often, when they talk about how big an apartment is or a room is, they sometimes base it off of uh, how many tatami mats there are or something of that uh, that way. Like, oh, my apartment is. Uh, uh, five or six tatami mats big or something like that. Um, and this apartment does not have uh, sliding doors. Uh, in Japan, in, in Japanese it's called shoji, sliding doors, which I really like, uh, both the sound-wise and just functional-wise, because, I mean, the reason why, I mean, I mean, one reason, I mean, this is my own speculation, but it makes sense, because we talked about how uh, tight space there is in Japan. So if you have doors that slide, obviously that's a lot easier to manage than doors that open uh, and close that way. So that's, that's, I think, is one reason why Japanese apartments... I mean, it's an old thing that I've used for a very long time, but they still use it. They're very practical. <clears throat> so more like the reason why... Yeah, so not not that they exist isn't that the reason, but the, that they still use them is probably why um, that it's tight space, yeah. Um, and then, a little bit of a side note, not so much to do with apartments, but we have a Nintendo Switch here. Uh, gaming in Japan, uh, um, when it comes to... Uh, playing games at home, that's, uh, I mean, uh, one reason why uh, handheld consoles are so popular in Japan and sell so much, like the 3DS and Game Boy and all, and going further back, is because of the space and also the fact that, I mean, it has to do with the space, right? In Japan, it's not as common for people to come over and, like, party. Also, that has to do with privacy, or... Uh, the sound. We talked about how thin walls there are. 
so because of space and uh, not disturbing people, it's not as common for people to get together like in a home and like partying or having fun with you know, playing games or singing karaoke. That's why there are, you know, designated areas for or like um, places you can go to to sing karaoke. Whereas in the West or Sweden, uh, uh, have, uh, going to karaoke place, uh, I mean, it hardly exists, so we do it at home. Um, can talk, can talk, can talk, can talk, very poorly in Japan. Um, but then we have Switch and the 3DS, for example, that are handled. <laughs> they also sell a, very, uh, a lot, and that's one of them. And I also think that uh, Japan has always been very technological, and in, in some ways they are behind when it comes to both technology and social things, like uh, women are still kind of um, I should I say they're still looked down on upon and so on in Japan and that there's a lot of stigma to it. But uh, when it comes to gaming, for example, I, I, uh, I find it very interesting and very nice that in Japan they can you can see on a train or outside like adults playing on a 3DS and it's completely normal. Like in Sweden, you will, I have never seen an adult person or a woman play a video game in public. <clears throat> of course there's a lot of uh, female gamers and so on, but it's like in Japan it's it's been accepted for so long that it's common to see them. And that's one thing I really like about Japan, how accepted it is to play video games. <clears throat> uh, which has, I mean if you go back 20 years uh, in Europe and the West, it hasn't been that way, but I think Japan, it's they are ahead in that sense. I think um, there was one more world, but there wasn't really anything else in my world that I wanted to show you except for the shoes, the Ginkan, and something else that I don't remember, but I don't have anything in my notes here. Um, I made the favorite this one. <laughs> yeah, it is a really nice word. And actually, the creator of this world has his, I think it's him. Because I saw him on Twitter. This is him on the picture here, and uh, he make a wish. Did. Thank you. And he did a really make a wish. <laughs> That's an interesting way of opening the fridge. Uh, you're <laughs> sliding your knee on it. Yeah, you you can give that to uh, you for. <laughs> Any specific questions that I, about something I haven't mentioned yet? Yet, because I, I um, I'm trying to think of things that happened or you know, that stick out when I was living in Japan in the apartment. I lived in a tiny apartment <laughs> in Tokyo. Um, <laughs> what did you? <laughs> what did you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So cool. coffee on the on the key. What uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a in, well in Japan it's I don't know if they do it everywhere, but they call this banana choco instead of choco banana. Uh, you would, because it is a banana with chocolate on it, you would, you should say Defense. chocolate banana Defense with in Japan, um, umbrella. banana chocolate instead. Defense. <laughs> it's pretty cute, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, where's your VR right now? 
uh, on the shelf. I've just got back from going out, so uh, I, see. I sort of rushed on. I see. Rusty. <laughs> yes. Also, I'm the ultimate ginger, that's why. <laughs> 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 what? Okay. Don't they have cutting boards? Yeah. <laughs> Don't they have oh, cutting boards? Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, hmm? the, the hey Neko, you you know what is this? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can see yeah. the camera there, intercom. Yeah, 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 right. That's also very fancy. <laughs> it's, it's common in oh. Korea too. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's, oh. It's, it's, 